Hello there, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step through filing the Beneficial Ownership Information Report with FinCEN, the new filing requirement for small businesses that started this year. I'm going to use their online system and show you exactly how to do this yourself. You do not need to pay anyone to do this for you. I've had multiple companies reaching out to me, asking me to promote them, and I won't do that because just like setting up an LLC or getting an EIN number, these are things that you can do yourself. The information that the softwares ask you is the information you can just enter here and do it yourself. If you're wondering about the filing requirement more generally, check out part one of these two videos. So let's jump in. Head over to fincen.gov forward slash BOI. And you can see this is a government website because it has .gov and it has HTTPS. So it's a safe website. So when we come down here to the file, and we are gonna click on file a report using the BOI e-filing system. On this page, you can see, welcome to the BOI e-filing system. And right here, this first option, uh, beneficial ownership information reporting. Click here, get started. Now we have two options. There's a PDF or we can file online. So let's go ahead and prepare and submit BOI R online. Okay, so if we see the tabs along the top, the filing information is gonna be some general information about this filing that we're doing. The reporting company is going to be your business that you're filing this report for. The company applicant is, let's say I own a business, I'm my business is the reporting company, and I'm filling out this application I am going to be the company applicant, right? If I was paying someone else to do this for me, they would be the company applicant. And then I am going to be under the beneficial owner and then we'll submit. And it's really simple and easy. Ready? So under filing information, you're gonna check initial report. This is a one-time filing to report owners and beneficial owners. If something changes, you can um, update a prior report. If you make a mistake, you would need to correct your prior report. It automatically fills in the date and we'll click next. Now we're to reporting company. You do not need to request a FinCEN ID. That would only be relevant if you're doing a lot of filings. Um, you'll see it's really quick and easy to enter an address and identifying number. Only check this if that applies to your business. So here we'll put company LLC. If we have a DBA or a trade name, put that below. So for example, Coca-Cola Company Incorporated might be the company legal name, but then they would put Coca-Cola if they've been filing a trade name for Coca-Cola, which I'm sure they have. Next, come down to the form of identification. So this is for your business. So unless it's a sole proprietor, if it's as long as it's an LLC, you're gonna to wanna to do EIN and enter your EIN number. If you don't have an EIN, you can go apply for one. It's very easy and it's online. I have videos uh, going over that as well. So enter that number in. Next, select your country and the state where your business was formed. You might be registered in other states, but only enter the, the state your business was actually formed in, and then your business current address. Then we'll come over and click next. Company applicant. So this is if you're applying for someone else. So if your business already existed before January 1st, 2024, you can just check this box and go to the next section, which is beneficial owners. I'm just gonna go back to show you in case that's not your situation. So for company applicant, you can see there's one here. We could add a second one. I think you can only have two, um, but these are the people that are doing the report for you. So if you're doing this yourself, you're just gonna put your information. So um, we can remove this second one, yes. And now we can open up and just, you can see where the asterisk is, just put in your information. You'll need a day of birth. You'll need an address type so you can put your business address. And then we're going to come down here to the identifying document. So this is where you need to add a, 
basically a state issued ID or a federal issued ID, driver's license or passport. You need to enter the number over here and then you would enter the state, the country and state here as well as upload it here. And it needs to be a PNG file. And then we can go next. Now we're onto the beneficial owner tab, which works the exact same as the one we just did. You can see here we have one owner. You can add another owner or delete that owner. So you wanna add all owners or beneficial owners uh, to this list. And you can check out that prior video for more details on that. So to do that again, come down and just enter under the asterisk your name. So last name first, date of birth, and then your address. And then again, same thing like the last one, select our document, enter the number, and then where your license or whatever is from and then select it and there we go that's all then the last thing you're going to do is enter your email your first and last name you're going to agree that it's correct and that you know you're authorized to do this on behalf of the reporting company which might be you so um and then you're going to check that you're human you might need to do a little captcha response and then submit. So you'll get a confirmation and I took a screenshot of that and then you'll also get a PDF download at the bottom. Be sure to save that as your confirmation. Okay, that's all. If you're new here, my name's Amanda and you're watching The Business Finance Coach on YouTube where I simplify finance and business to help you succeed. And I'm the creator of the Master Your Accounting and Taxes program, which guides business owners through training to get their accounting and taxes organized using our unique spreadsheet templates, templates that replace things like QuickBooks and other accounting software so that you can do everything yourself using spreadsheets forever. I have a bunch of free workshops and tools, so check out any links around me or down in the description box. Otherwise, check out some of my other videos that you might like, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.